everybody. My name is Olga Sokolova and my company name is Olga Mandodri Design. And today I would like to introduce a very interesting architect, um, Dr. Christopher Alexander. He was born in 1936 and unfortunately he passed away in uh, 2022. And he was Austrian, British and American and he taught at Berkeley University in California. He was a well-known architect, uh, built about 100 uh, beautiful structures around the globe. And he was, was also known as theorist architect. He even influenced um, uh, information technology field and the term architecture was borrowed from his lectures uh, when somebody is developing software first they do the architecture basically of the future program but anyway uh, it's about this book and it's called the nature of order and it's volume number four and it's called the luminous ground the luminous ground and the interesting connection is that i went to india about 12 times and I studied with a well-known architect in India, uh, traditional architecture, how people built in the past and how they integrated their um, ancient uh, knowledge about construction and design with nature. And it's a very deep connection because um, in the East, uh, people uh, view nature as alive and the whole universe is alive. As Christopher Alexander, he wrote in his last volume, he said, this is not kind of emotional book. Um, it is actually the final, the most important book of the series, which is showing people that our view uh, of the past century, more materialistic, and um, viewing universe as something mechanical with some bubbles floating in space, and something is moving, exploding, etc. But he said that uh, basically we have to wake up to um, a new century and think about the deeper connection with nature through its inner light. And so he would uh, review the different photographs, for example, of designs of tiles, for example, and saying this tile is beautiful, but it's dead. This tile is like 200 years older, Turkish tile he was uh, looking at. He said that one is really having inner light. So the whole book is super interesting. But the point is that I design spaces, interior design and do consulting architecture uh, also uh, with this inner light. And I learned that in India actually. And it's not only Indian teachings because uh, several years ago, Washington Post actually published um, an article, it was about Vastu Shastra and it was Iran. So we could see that uh, in Mesopotamia, ancient Mesopotamia, in Iran, uh, India and different places, we could see the common denominator of the spaces design and build. It's an open floor plan. It's a special design connecting directly with nature. And architecture is a link between nature and people and human living energy. So I spent 18 years studying these designs and uh, now I am implementing them in my practice. And by the way, um, a couple years ago or so, a uh, house in California was built according to my design. And the woman who lives in that house, she is super happy. She said people come and they comment about this positive, beautiful, peaceful energy. So I would love to uh, work for you and design a space with colors which will uplift you, give you more peace, with shapes which are peaceful. And I can even do interior design or architectural design for you, uh, which will be living design alive. And it will be, bring you not only peace and beautiful environment, but also the inner kind of satisfaction, the energy. So I would like to design with energy. And I say, I do, um, I heal through design. Come to me and I will help you. Thank you.